And that is where we start tonight. Those questions about the state's new multi-million dollar incentive program. How does it work and how can you make sure you have a shot at a million if you are vaccinated? Tonight, 44% of Colorado's population is fully vaccinated. And those people should be in the big money drawings. 52% of Coloradans have at least one dose. The prize program is one effort to raise the vaccination numbers far above where they are now. Similar incentive programs in other states have done just that. For example, the Ohio Health Department has seen vaccination rates there increase by more than 28%. Colorado hopes for a similar response, and vaccinated Coloradans want to make sure their names are in the hat for a potentially big payout. Alan Janae looking into this tonight, and Alan, many people say right now they can't find their names in the database. Well, it seems that way, Jim. You know, every vaccine provider is supposedly required to put your vaccination into what's called Colorado's Immunization Information System, the CIIS. They'll use the CIIS to pick the lottery winners. You can check if you're there through a newly opened portal that the state has provided. Many people are, and many of them are finding they don't seem to be there. In Aurora, people were rolling into an evening vaccine clinic run by Stride Community Health. Uh, the lottery? Sí. Sí. <laughs> a chance to win a lottery was an effective lure for this couple. Sí, no she heard about the lottery and changed her mind and came down today. If you're looking for it, you can find it. Denise Sutherland, already vaccinated months ago, brought her grandson. And I'll be happy because everybody in the home will be vaccinated. We asked her to check to see if she was in the state's vaccination database, which is how the state says you'll be automatically eligible for the lottery. Date of birth. On Android phones, the state site was getting stuck on the birth date. A few minutes of fiddling on her grandson's phone and she was locked out. The Department of Public Health and Environment declined interviews and sent a statement saying 89% of all COVID doses have been reported to CIIS within 72 hours, but not all. We checked back with Denise. So tell me what happened. So I put in the information and it came up, no record was found. Denver Health, where Denise got vaccinated, says its medical record system is supposed to talk to the state system automatically. It says it appears that's not always happening. I didn't do it for the money anyway, so I, I did it for my grandson. <laughs> you don't have a little desire for the money? It would be nice, but um, not registered, so I don't know. The CDPHE says people should be checking maybe alternate spellings of your name. Denver Health says the problems could be really just about anywhere, including maybe the, you know, combination of the two systems as well as the opening of the new portal or maybe old phone numbers in there. We do know for a fact, though, that not all entities are reporting into the CIIS, among them the U.S. military and the Veterans Administration, which means vets right now aren't in there and aren't eligible for the lottery yet. The CDPHE says it's working to straighten that out. In Denver, I'm Alan Janae covering Colorado First.